Hi, it's Avery Pelch. I'm here with Ed Bott, uh, Windows expert extraordinaire from ZDNet, and we're taking a look at the Samsung Adip tablet, which is the first tablet we've gotten to handle, which has Windows RT on it. So uh, let's check out how this looks, Ed. Okay, so we start here. You know, you've got the the hardware very very light, um, has a nice this gray bezel instead of black, which is uh, an interesting touch. Uh, front facing camera. Rear camera there, some ports along the top, uh, headphone jack, power switch, rocker volume control, uh, USB 2.0, not 3.0 here, under a slot cover and a, a micro HDMI, and then a micro SD card there. Uh, and I just, my palm just hit the, uh, hit an app there and started it, but um, the, the Metro side of Windows 8 looks exactly like the, the x86 version. Um, there's the, the charms bar, start menu, uh, will take us back to the, the Filmi Not Consoli Xbox. Uh, so I think we'll, we'll go back. This is what we're really interested in here, is the Windows RT desktop, which has, uh, which looks almost exactly exactly like the one in Windows 8, but uh, you can't install desktop apps on it, so what you see is what you get here. And uh, from left to right, you've got Internet Explorer 10. Uh, and the reason you would want to do this uh, rather than use the Metro style browser is first of all you've got tabs, but second um, you're going to have uh, a, uh, the ability to run plugins like Flash. I believe Flash is embedded in this one, but we're not going to be able to tell apparently because it's not going to take us to that page. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but there's uh, Internet Explorer 10. You've also got uh, File Explorer here which is, uh, you know, the old, formerly known as Windows Explorer. Um, and the touch stuff seems to work just fine. We go here, uh, you can tell this has only, you know, it's had 24 gigabytes of, of storage, of which 12.4 gigabytes is free. This is not exactly uh, the most storage-rich uh, system that I've ever seen, but, uh, you know, for what it for what it does, that's, that's what it does. Uh, we'll go and see what they've given us here on this. Uh, I don't believe that you can pinch zoom any of this stuff. No, you'd have to go to one of these things to change the view of it. So a little awkward, uh, but I was able to, you know, to tap something and it was pretty responsive to my taps there. Uh, but the real key, the real uh, star of the show here, is you've got Office 2013, the preview apps in here. So let's go open up PowerPoint. PowerPoint 2013 preview, and I've been spending a lot of time working with Office, uh, so we'll uh, we'll start a new uh, new file here, use this variant on the theme, and, uh, and create a new PowerPoint presentation. Now, what's interesting here is you've got the new Office 2013 ribbon, but this is not in touch mode by default, which is kind of odd. Uh, I have to go up here and tap this and there, there's touch mode, now you see that little blue dot, which means that all the menus have been spaced out a little bit here, making them easier to um, to, to hit with your fingers. Um, go back here to this, uh, the commands on the ribbon have been stretched out a little bit, uh, so you can, you can get, get something, you see the basic touch keyboard here, once you get the touch keyboard, it's uh, pretty easy to start typing things. Uh, but the real, uh, you know, the real thing here is going to be rotate that 90 degrees. See if we can arrange something. I'm not having any problems uh, hitting stuff and having it respond to my taps. Uh, so that's pretty good. Once we're in touch mode here, um, you know, everything seems to be. No, I haven't. I haven't missed yet. Uh, which I did in File Explorer. So the touch mode actually seems to work here. I'm not going to save that. Go back just for fun. We'll open up Word. See what that looks like. Uh, same basic thing. Uh, notice again, touch mode isn't on here. Got to register that later. And again, I'm having a hard time making that little tiny uh, target go. But now that I've turned on touch mode, it's, uh, you know, thing comes up, say, uh, yeah, this is, okay, here we go, 
That's the new, you know, touch size. So there's, you know, there's the ribbon in touch mode. There's Office 2013. It looks exactly like the one on the uh, Windows 8 desktop. This is not something that you're going to want to do with your finger most of the time. Uh, you're really, most of the time, you're going to want to be using this in view mode. It's going to be, you know, kind of a consumption device. And if you want to actually create stuff here, you're going to want to put this in the optional uh, keyboard holder, and you're going to want to use a keyboard and either a mouse or a trackpad to do this kind of work. But you've got the option, and uh, that's a, a little look at the desktop in Windows RT.